Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day full of it is wednesday it is the middle of the week happy hum day to every single one of you i hope you're having a beautiful week and girl get ready because we need to talk about the real housewife of Beverly hills we have some tea that is just like popping out there and we definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you are new here, welcome to the Barley Troop. Over here, we keep it real and we mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the Pop Culture Street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And also, very important, guys, I want you to leave all of your comments down below on every single issue that we are talking. I want to know every single one of your opinions because that's the most like fun part of doing this is interacting with you and knowing what are you actually thinking. All right, guys, let's talk about this uh, mess. So let's start by the fact that ex-housewife of Beverly Hills, Crystal Minkoff, just debuted her podcast, you know, it's called Humble Brack, with none other than Cynthia Bailey, okay? First episode, it's already out there. I just want to give it a shout out because I actually listened to it and it was really, really good. The chemistry between the two of them is just on point, you know? And I was also listening to like the, like the official interview that they did before the podcast with um, Nick Vile or his podcast, you know, and girl, they are already like a spilling tea, like there are so many things that they're already uh, spilling out there, and there was just little pieces that I don't know if it was just like, a, oops, I just mentioned it, but we kind of like need to talk about, you know, so according to Crystal Minkoff, she said that Dorit Kemsley is definitely going to be on the hot seat next season but there is a weird catch in it okay um as you know and i told you this uh, before guys uh Burberry hills is moving into a different direction next season you know and they kind of like want to bring like the fun you know and, like we are all friends you know and yes we have little problems here and there which is what usually has been working out you know it works out in miami it works out um in um well, basically just in Miami. Well, Dubai also. Dubai is also doing something like that, which is just like girls being girls, having fun, and just having like a little bit of issues here and there, which are not really that toxic, right? So they really want to move into that direction. And uh, one of the things that Crystal confirmed is that she doesn't know how it's going to be, how it's going to be seen, you know, because everyone is basically getting along with everyone you know i can confirm you guys that all of the girls kind of like did i mean i don't i don't know if this was like an official pack but like they definitely are kind of like being okay with each other you know people are forgiving everyone forgiving and forgetting you know and moving on like i can tell you that even kathy hilton is in out in an okay situation with erica jane you know, so it, it's kind of like everyone, it's kind of like getting over all the pettiness, you know, and it's like, okay, let's just drop everything and let's kind of like start from zero. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be a drama. And we have to now talk about the Dorit Kemsley of it all. Now, we know that Dorit Kemsley is going to be going through like the separation or divorce or whatever. And according to Crystal, uh, definitely the first part of the drama is going to be between um, Dorit Kemsley and Kyle Richards, you know. Um, the two of them definitely are going to be going um, after each other at the beginning because that's how last season ended. And and now, we ha and now they're kind of like rebuilding that trust again. Now, apparently everything is going to work out because now they are all like BFF again, you know. 
So, uh, but definitely that. And also, according to Crystal, the read this season is basically having at some point troubles with absolutely every single one of the ladies, which to me might translate to basically maybe she is deflecting from her own situation. You know, she's going through a, a separation, possibly a divorce, right? And maybe she doesn't know how to act that part in front of the camera because she's so used to trying to portray that everything is perfect all the time that now having to show that non-perfection maybe that is going to like somehow like you know shake her and then she's going to start deflecting and just having stupid issues with absolutely every single one of the ladies now one thing that we do love is an activated dorit we haven't seen an activated dorit in a very long time so that will be like interesting kind of to see. But yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to get any toxic um, actual drama next season, which is interesting. Like I'm down for it. It has to be done in the right way. Otherwise, it could be translated as being boring, you know, and I don't want this season to be boring, even though I still going to miss my girl, Crystal, like shout out to you, girl. I'm going to miss you. but. I feel that they need to, they definitely need to do something different and like change the tone of the show. Uh, but I don't know, honestly, to be like, I don't know how it's really going to get portrayed. Now, according to Crystal, Rob Minkoff met PK randomly in a restaurant the other day and they were kind of like talking about it and um, about stuff, you know, and Rob asked PK if, you know, they were actually getting a divorce and PK just respond by saying that they were having issues, uh, but that they were working through them, you know? So it doesn't sound like they are going to get a divorce, but who knows, right? At this point, everything is possible. There has been so many rumors out there um, that, I don't know, you know, like, I feel like, the re I don't know, I don't know, you know? The thing is, like, I never, we never really see problems between PK and Dorit on the show. And everything that we know is pretty much her say, you know, or, or things that are, like, on the Beverly Hill Street. But it's not really, like, we never seen them, you know, actually having problems. So, like, to say, like, oh, maybe they're off, that they're better off, I don't know how much, how true that will be. You know what I mean? So, I think that part, like, it's a little bit interesting. Now, in another piece of, like, quick news... Uh, this was not said by Crystal. This is another thing. But Kyle Richards apparently did come forward saying that she actually filmed a lot with Mauricio Omansky next season. Um, like they filmed together like a lot, you know. And then people are asking, do you think there is a, a possibility that the two of them might be getting back together? Look, when it comes to Kyle and Mauricio, I have to say it, you know, to me there are so much love in there that it is very hard to kind of like understand that they are not longer together you know at the end of the day it's whatever is best for both of them i mean none of them should be like you know um uh sacrificing their own happiness but if if there is a way for them to be back together i will be all down for them to be back together you know but who knows but apparently they have been filming a lot i mean kyle richards has said a bunch of times that no matter what happened they will always be like best friends they will always do what's best for the family you know so and, and i think at this point after so long unless there is like a, a actual cheating or or you know like abuse or something like that like there is no reason to not be friends you know so we'll see i think all of these always are, all of these situations are always like, yeah, we are just going to be friends until the new person arrives, you know? So let's wait and see till they actually start dating people and falling in love with new people. That is going to change the whole, you know, uh, the, the whole situation. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Go and check uh, uh, Crystal Minkoff and Cindy Bailey's new podcast. It's called The Humble Brack. Honestly, I hear the first episode. They, those two have an amazing, an amazing chemistry. Uh, this is a duo that I was not expecting. I think and none of us were expecting this duo to do a podcast together. But after listening to the first episode, I can tell you that it makes sense, you know, and they really complement each other very well. And it is such an easy listening. 
hearing latino woman guys how do you say that yeah like like you know it's a, it's an easy thing to hear so um go listen to it there is a lot of tea a lot of behind the scenes stuff you know very fancy uh, uh stuff that they are sharing and you can find it here on youtube or i think anywhere else you get your podcast and that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real house of Beverly hills or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye